Hello everyone, this is Mike Graff with Core Sound Pads, and today we are going to show you how to use the Pads Live app, not only for Core Sounds pads, but to import pads from other creators as well. The Pads Live app is a great pads player, crossfader, playlist builder for any pads, whether they are Core Sound pads or other ones. So we'll show you how to unlock it and get going. Here we go. First thing you'll want to do, of course, is open the Pads Live app. For any purchased pads that you currently have, they will be in the available screen as well. We have purchased all of the pads on our app, of course. Uh, within the store, uh, right now it's going to say you don't have any pads to buy because you bought them all. Now, obviously, within the app, uh, we make some great pads at Core Sound Pads. We stand behind every one of them, and we love the wide range of warm and bright and uh, droning and distinct sounds that we've created. But if you have found pads elsewhere or other audio files that you want to import into the Pads Live app, you are able to do that as well. Obviously, the, the Core Sound Pads are very accessible. You can purchase them, download them, all right within the app. Uh, but if you want to add other pads so that you can not only use the app as a great cross-fading uh, music player, but also attach imported pads to any sort of songs that you want to save, uh, obviously build them into playlists and so on, uh, you are able to do so. All you're going to do is you're going to go to the imported tab right here and it, right now it says no imported pads hey why don't you click on the import feature in the top left hand corner to add other pads so it is that simple for any pads that you have purchased from another pads creator and have transferred them to your mobile device currently we're on an ipad right now uh, for any audio files that we have transferred to that iPad, probably through iTunes is the easiest way to do it. Uh, and we do have added functionality for importing from Dropbox and other uh, cloud syncing services coming in the very near future as well. Uh, all you're going to want to do to access those pads that are already on your device within the Pads Live app is click on that little feature in the top left hand corner. It'll ask you, hey, do you want to unlock? Uh, the upload feature for $9.99, you're just going to confirm. And there we have it. So we have now unlocked the import pads feature, but obviously the screen still says, hey, you haven't imported any pads yet. Why don't we click in the top left-hand corner again, and now at this point, since we have purchased the import pads option, it's going to say, hey, we would like access to your music library, your media library. You're going to want to say yes. And so now, again, any pads that you have purchased from someone else that you have already transferred to this device, you are able to access. It isn't quite as easy as just purchasing and downloading the core sound pads, which happen directly within the Pads Live app, but this is a nice option to add other people's pads as well. Uh, we're just going to open up songs, and we have a couple pads here. We're going to import Cool Pad in the key of A first. Are you sure you want to add Cool Pad in the key of A? Yes, we do. And uh, when you import this, it's just going to default to that logo that you currently see. Uh, we will add artwork functionality in just a little bit here. But you're going to want to tap on the three dots as you import it, and you're going to want to tap on Edit Pad. And obviously, the name of the pad is Cool Pad, and it also says it's in the key of A. We're going to want to add some metadata to this. You're going to want to just assign this Cool Pad to the key of A. And then at this point, I'm just going to delete that bit of text from the name of the pad because we no longer need the name of it to tell us that it is in the key of A. We, as you can now see on the descriptor, it shows us that it is in the key of A. I'm also going to just do that one more time for our other one. Nice pad. Yes, we want to import it. And again, just a quick little tap over here. Let's select the key of E. And let's clean that up. 
And there it is. You have now imported pads from other pad creators, not just core sound pads, and you're able to do everything within the app with your imported pads in the same way that core sound pads function. They will loop infinitely. Uh, then you can also create songs with those pads. You can save them into playlists and do everything else within the app with the imported pads. It is a great feature. We hope you enjoy that. Uh, let us know if you have any questions and keep on leading worship faithfully, folks. Folks, thanks again.